What's up guys? This is Engineer Jack and this is a structural theory. So yung pag-usapan natin or yung topic natin for this presentation is the analysis for external reactions and internal stress resultants of statically determinate structures. So tapos na tayo sa beams and plane frames and nag-start din tayo sa plane trusses na nag-solve tayo using method of joints. Pero this presentation, yung solution natin is the method of sections. So this is the analysis of plane process by the method of sections. The method of sections are used to determine the forces in the specific member of process directly without first calculating many unnecessary member forces as may be required by the method of joints. So yung method of sections, hindi na natin isosob lahat ng members or lahat ng dinadala ng members natin sa truss. So para magkakat lang tayo. No? So the, the method of sections involve cutting the truss into two portions. So, pwedeng may left portion or right portion. By passing by imaginary section through the members whose forces are desired or yung hinahanap. The desired member forces are then determined by considering the equilibrium of one of two portions of the truss. So, this is the step-step procedure or the step-by-step -step procedure and this can be used for determining the member forces of statically de determinate plane trusses by the method of section. So, now Number one, select a section that passes through as many members as possible whose forces are desired or hin yung hinahanap nga, but not more than three members with unknown forces. The section should cut the truss into two parts. Number two, select the portion that will require the least amount of computational effort in determining the unknown forces. Number three, draw the free body diagram of the portion of the truss selected showing all external loads and reactions applied to it and the forces in the members that have been cut by the section. And number four, determine the unknown forces using the equations of equilibrium. Yun meron tayong tatlo, the summation of forces and summation of moment. So let's solve an example problem. Determine the forces in members C, D, B, G, and G, H of the truss shown in the figure. So as you can see in the figure, kung magma-method of joints tayo, medyo mahirap, medyo matagal yung solution kasi uh, mag-solve pa tayo ng external reactions and iisa-isahin pa natin yung joints before natin masolve yung unknowns. So for this problem, meron tayong tatlo lang and meron tayong maraming members. no? So kung sa method, method of joints, uh, hindi na siya practical. So yung another solution natin, yun nga, is the method of sections. Na yun yung gagamitin natin for this problem. So first, solution ikakat natin kung saan yung pinapahanap yung unknowns. So yung hinahanap is C, D, B, G, and G, H. So this G, H, G, D, and C, D. So pwede tayo mag-cut dito at this portion. So after natin dito mag-cut, as you can see, meron tayong uh, nakat na dalawa. So you, this is the left portion and this is the right portion. So pwede natin kunin yung right or left. So pag kinuha natin yung left portion, Uh, need pa natin yung value ng reactions at E and A. So, isosolve pa natin yan. Pero pag kinusilin natin yung right section, ito lang na uh, section na to, as you can see, hindi na tayo mag ng reactions or external reactions, kundi direct na tayo sa CD, GD, and GH. So, for this problem, uh, instead left portion yung kunin ko, uh, ito na lang, yung right portion na lang. Iniwalay ko lang guys yung right portion at pinakita ko yung mga stress resultants. So, So, in ko guys, lahat sila naka-tension. So, for CD, this is, uh, this is the force at CD. So, in ko lahat ng tension. So, for GD and GH. So, lahat yan naka-tension. So, let's use this section guys, yung right section nga. So, first, summation of moment at point D equal to zero and or equate lang natin yung clockwise moment at point D equal sa counterclockwise moments at point D. So, yung create ng clockwise moment at point D is yung 15 kips. So, 15 kips times yung moment arm niya, perpendicular moment arm na 16 feet equal to, yung mag-create ng counter is yung uh, FGH. Kasi yung 30, walang moment arm and FCD and F FGD is walang moment arm din. Kasi dun nga, nakalocate yan sa point D. So, yung mag-create lang ng counter clockwise moment at point D is yung FGH times yung perpendicular moment arm niya na 12 feet. 
So, FGH times 12. So, we have uh, FGH now na 20 kips. Ibig sabihin, kung positive yung nakuha natin, tama yung assumption ko na tension siya. Ngayon, yung nasolve natin yung FGH, isolve naman natin guys yung FGV and FCD. So, pwede tayo guys magamit ang summation of forces vertical equal to 0 or equate natin lahat ng pataas sa lahat ng pababa. Slope ng FGD is 3, 4, and 5. So, pwede nyo i-post guys yung video para makuha yan. Pwede nyo i-solve. So, yung pataas na force is the vertical component of HFGD which is FGD times 3 over 5 equal to yung lahat ng pababa na forces is 30 kips and 15 kips. So, simplify natin. Uh, FGD times 3 over 5 equals to 45 kips. So, meron tayong FGD equals to 75 kips na nakatension din. Kasi, positive yung nakuha natin, ibig sabihin, tama yung assumption natin for the force in GD. After natin ma-solve yung FGD, uh, we can solve the FCD. So, we will use summation of forces horizontal equal to 0. Or, equate natin lahat ng forces na direction to the right sa so forces na yung direction to the left. So, yung forces na magkakreate ng direction to the right, is 0 kasi wala and yung magkakreate ng force na direction to the left is uh, yung 20k or the, the FGH and the horizontal component of FGD which is 75 kips times 4 over 5 and yung FCD so simplify natin meron tayong FCD now na negative 80 kips ibig sabihin mali yung direction natin for 4CD so yung tamang sagot is yung or direction ng FCD is yung compression so yung final answer is FCD 80 keeps compression. So that's it guys. This is the method of sections and nasolve natin lahat ng unknowns without uh, using method of joints na unnecessary na. Kasi nga, pag nag method of joints na tayo, maraming pang uh, dadaanan tayo before natin masolve talaga yung unknown na C, D, D, G, and G, H. So, this solution is called the method of sections and this is used for trusses or plain trusses. And that's it. Thank you very much.